Uh, quick note to myself, but I might I might air this if I keep my mind clean and my and my language. Uh, I've got to learn to stop swearing. I know that. It's hard when you live in this country because everybody swears. It's part of the dialect. Anyway, never mind. I'll say, so look, I've been listening to my own music and tagging them and stuff, and I was thinking, you know, I have this friend in New York. He has a radio show. Hi, Freddie. Right? So I'm thinking, yeah, I'll send this to him, right? I've been listening to some of my stuff, and some of it, yeah, I got a surf bop thing kind of thing. I think I was one that when I first started communicating with the bro, long before we met in Halifax, by the way. But yeah, he said, you come to New York when you can, right? Oh, yeah, I'd love to come to New York. So now, now I'm kind of realizing that, okay, maybe I do have this support in the United States beyond all of the other things that are happening to say, yeah, look at these guys singing these songs about not being able to come to the U.S. and what's really going on in Canada. I don't know, it's kind of going there. Well, it seems to be a safer place for me to be, by the way. Uh, truly. But never mind, I'm brave. I'm brave. I'm, I'm saying what has to be said in this country without fear, because if we all say it, if we all say it, the lies have to stop and we all get to govern instead of the first ministers and the parliaments and the crown. What is the crown? Well, we know the, the kind, well, we think she's kind, lady lady across, across the pond in the home country for many of us who are part English, I am, one quarter, uh, but others who aren't, you know, that this lady across that she does, she can't even say anything. We, you can write her anything she wants about Harper or Trudeau. She says, "You'll have to talk to the Governor General," and then down the chain it goes. The Governor General can't say anything to the Prime Minister, and once the Prime Minister has a lockdown on Parliament, he can do anything he wants, like a king or or, or a queen, in the case of Christy Clark and and Rachel Lockley. Yes, yes, and so anyway, that could go on about the awkward position that Canada is in because of the TMX and the threat made to cut off Washington and Oregon's pipeline supply of Alberta bitumen, a national security interest of the United States, and they think it's a Canadian national interest to build it. Okay, well, Ottawa, or actually, yes, Ottawa means Toronto and Montreal who control the governments, as do Ontario and Quebec votes. We all see it. What do you, where do you get the development? Always goes to them. You know, rail, always there. Why? Why? Well, it's because they run the country like an empire. Under the crown, it's called the Dominion. You know, just like on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Yeah, those guys, exactly. That's the exact paradigm. Ooh, I have ways to get all this to Rachel Rodberry. I was just thinking of people I know who don't know. And that whole community I used to be around in the science fiction community. Never mind. It's not what we're here to talk about. So anyway, it just occurred to me that, hey, Freddie, I'm going to send this to you. And there's a few songs. This is just for you and me, Okay. Until we, oh, I don't know, maybe I should hear it. I don't know. But now it's time for Canadians to be outspoken instead of quiet. Why don't you shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. You're kidding, you're kidding. Oh, oh, wave me off. Well, I disagree. Well, you disagree. I know, but I know history. And I know the situation in both the First Nations and the Pacific, all the reasons that it's so corrupt. It's not just Trudeau. We've had this since my whole life. And I'm 63. You only clue into about 17, 20, you're well to wake up usually, and then by the time you wake up, it's too late to change. But how do you change? Well, you start ignoring the illegal system. It's inherently a, an improper and immoral system that is, well, it dates to the time of the Pitts, the William Pitt the Younger and, 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 and William Pitt the Elder, who, who were under the George III and so on after that, that, that take parliamentary power, which had already been taken when the Stuarts were overthrown, you see. Parliament has been like a king all this time and able to do anything it wants on behalf of the wealthy and the landed who control it and still do. And still do. Whether through proxies, whether through people working through companies, buying, buying, buying parliamentarians, which are just bag men. You know, there's a great, there's a great, uh, not, not, not warrior princess, but in another role, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. Oh, sorry, I can't remember that. But she's in a, she's in a hot tub with champagne and bubbles, was talking about being a whore in Ottawa. Oh, it was a great sketch. Oh, you got to dig that out and find the post of it. Everybody will remember who watched 22 Minutes back then when it was still fairly free. Before it got Toryized, which Trudeau has maintained. Because the Trudeau, the liberals and the, and the conservatives, we all know they're, you know, that they're, they're both as, two sides of the same coin. Only one is a lot worse, or is it? Well, that's the thing. What's the difference between Sheer and Trudeau or, or Mr. Singh? You know, uh, never mind all that. Again, it's not what we're talking about. But we have a situation 
where Alberta and Canada are saying, well, we're going to use troops in the, near the border to build this thing for China, which will triple the rates for Puget Sound. Anyways, you see where I'm going, Freddie. It's safe for me not to be here, but I'm on the long, thin white line, the Trans-Canada. North of here is the Great Red North, man. Anyway, it's an empire north of here, and the land system is maintained to take the resources and treat the Indians like shit. You think you think high population of blacks are in prison? Check it out in Canada, man. This is not a free country, especially if you're Aboriginal. And at times, if you've been anything else, certain not German and Italian included, Ukrainian included, with Japanese, Japanese never got their shit back in BC like they did in California. Why is that anyway? I could go on about all the crimes of the crown and their expedition, expediting all the corporate takeover of the landscape, both from the First Nations and from the people that are being brought here to maintain the social support system known as the pensions for everybody. We need that immigration, you redneck. I'm not going to call you guys idiots. You're just misinformed, all right? You're brainwashed. Wake up, Canada. No, 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 it's not Canada. It's not Canada. I've been across it, lived in several provinces, or six anyway. Uh, for at least a period of time. Uh, you, you know, they're all 25, 30 different countries, and I'm just talking about settler Canada. There's hundreds of nations here, and they're separate places. They're like Swiss valleys, you know, that they're all self-governing. This is how Switzerland came into existence. So did the Netherlands. Self-governing towns, self-governing valleys. This is the way... The Netherlands went a different course and wound up with a monarchy, but they had never held in their system during the state of the uh, East India Company. But, But... You know, it's a different system than the British. But what I'm trying to get at is the Swiss system, which the the French want something very much like, only more enhanced and more dynamic. We don't have regularly scheduled elections like in Switzerland. Blah, 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 blah. No, they want to say in what's going on. So, vive la France, huh? Vive la France. Ouais. Et moi, je crois que le caron doit tomber. Faut tomber should fall, it must fall. The crown. The crown of Canada, what is it? Well, I'll tell you what it is. I'm a geopolitician and a historian. I've read lots. Okay? Here, let me take my coffee. So here's the deal. This is good to explain this, because Americans and other people in the outside world don't know how Canada came into existence. Other than the conquest of the prairies by Central Canada with troops and the Royal Northwest Mounted Police were the predecessors of today's, oh, look at those pretty red uniforms, and they, they look nice when they ride horses. The force. The force and the dominion. Do you hear? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Gene Roddenberry, the writer of that episode, was parodying Canada, because there's all kinds of things like Jane Jacobs, her cities on cities in the wealth of nations, it calls for the dismantling of com- countries and currencies like ours and letting the areas grow as they should be. The natural economy in North America, because of the landscape especially, is, that boundary is totally artificial. Who does it serve? Central Canada. It does not serve our interest out here in BC to be like that. And to have them, we have no power in Ottawa at all. We just look at what's happening. Never mind to the natives, but just everything here. You know, and the way he's... The way Justin's only part of a corrupt system that's even more corrupt, like Harper. And Mulroney, who got off on the Airbus affair... Because the, 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 the governor who got the governor general's job as a reward for doing this excluded all other Tories from, from investigation in the determination of the Mulroney Scriber affair over the Airbus. And that's a great scandal. The huge scandals in Canada, like, oh, geez, yeah. The, 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 uh, the B 52, well, no, I don't know, not B 52, the Lockheed contract. That, that Harper lied about and was convicted of, of Parliament, contempt of Parliament for the first time in the history of the Commonwealth and the monarchies of the British throne. For the first time, contempt of Parliament. Well, it was easy, you know, it was easy to convict him, right? Because it was fake documents, fake material. and But they let him have his seat still. Why? Well, because they're all part of the same system. Don't you get it? It's the same reason Conrad Black was let back in the country. Yeah, a felon, convicted felon who abandoned his citizenship. And I won't go into the rest of this story or I might get sued. That's the problem with Canada. The rich can sue your ass off. And what can you do? Live on the street if that happens, I guess. I don't know. It hasn't happened to me, but it could because I talk very strongly. I won't talk about a certain lobbyist in BC who's very well known for suing anybody who mentions his name. Never mind it has to do with the BC rail scandal 
Which also involved, yeah, Mark Marison. Yeah, it does involve that same crew that put Mr. Trudeau on the throne. Because when you're, when you're prime minister and you're in charge of the PMO and the PSPCO, which over the last three, four decades I've watched consolidate power away from the ministers and into like the central group of people. And that little office, especially the Privy Council office, is a, a switch back and forth between somebody's, oh, good, I've got a message for somebody I want to hear from. Anyways, uh, I got my, should have turned my net off. Uh, yeah, so this is all, this is all, uh, shouldn't have paid attention to that. No, I've lost my track. You know, it's a situation where we're, um, we're in flux in Canada, right? The, the system is so corrupt. What can you do? And we all know that nobody nobody ever gets fair justice like for the death by, by the force. It's like the Garley of Seville under Franco. Frankly, it is. Anybody who knows what that was and what that means. License to kill. Well, yeah, there's some get punished and there's some like the, one of the Jukansky guys, you know, the, the Peter Jukansky and I don't know, the lady in Vanderhoof, she still doesn't have a son about his Ian, I think, I forget his name now. And even not the only one. It's not just native people that are dying. The missing and murdered Indian men are even more than the missing and murdered Indian woman. And so why is there only an, an, really an inquiry on the, on the woman? Why isn't there an inquiry into the whole status of the how many Jip, no, natives, young and old, are in prison? Why? Why? It's more than the, there are blacks in America. It's worse than slavery. Right? They had, their, they had not just their dignity, but their personhood taken away, and their whole culture, many of them lost their languages, and they're still recovering, but they're dynamic people. And a horrible high suicide rate, and horrible things that happened in the North, and that young kid getting shot in the back of the head. Oh! In Saskatchewan. And, oh, yeah, yeah, they're getting off, right? And the, the murder of Cindy Gladue, I'm not sure what happened there in Winnipeg, and all the kids going and killing themselves in, in, in the Lakehead, Nipigon area, north of that. Oh, geez, and all through. But you know what? They're still growing. They're still a dynamic people. They're reviving their culture, building a new one, a strong one, highly educated. They're the dynamic force here in British Columbia. Let's not call I call it Free Columbia now, because I just the British Crown should not fly here. The flag should not go. It should go, that name. Like that, tomorrow. And the Crown. This is what I'm calling for, really. I'm trying to like, talk to America and say, look, at least let me get down there and, and play my songs for you because they're about not being able to come there. Right now I feel so strongly about the need for free Columbia or Cordillera or Pacific or whatever it comes to be called, but a sovereignty of, of the nations that are here given their sovereignty, which they don't have. And Ottawa has no right to over, according to Imperial British law, it is entirely, entirely illegal what happened up in the Northwest and everything that has happened here since 1871. Governor Douglas was gotten rid of because he was too amenable to cutting treaties and giving them large reserves. Oh, he had got rid of. And then there was the great smallpox and ugh, horrible things in the founding of the colony, but also some interesting things. And one of them is the natural tendency is this, this whole region, which was founded out of San Francisco and overland from America more than it was from the east until the coming of the railway or by Canadians coming up via California and bringing that culture up. So this was never part if they were, they were mostly maritimers. Uh, anyway, so, 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 so on. The, 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 the Canada was a foreign culture that acquired British Columbia by treachery. I'm getting far off track for anybody foreign who's listening. I'm trying to give a lesson in our history, so I'll focus back on the subject. The whole point of the getting this coast was so that Britain could have a railway to get tea, silk, opium, and other fine goods like porcelain from the Orient to London and, and Bristol faster. Yeah, that's why this Canadian Pacific was built. It was all the British wanted. Oh, uh, you know, and yeah, Montreal, because of the building of the railway, Montreal in the form of the Canadian Pacific Railway and all the Canadian Pacific investments today, which is one of the world's largest companies still. And it has its tentacles all over BC and in the taking of the land and the resources of the people who lived here always and had countries older than Rome and stories and histories of their own. I can't go on about it. The pain of knowing it as somebody from here who knows many of them and sees what it's happened to them. They understand. I know most of them. It's hard being an old white man, you know. But at least I, at least I understand. I empathize with the dilemma. And more and more people here, young and old, are aware of the problem. And we don't like how Parliament and the press, especially, control the way people think. 
Yes, they do. It's a, it's, it's, it's a total press monopoly in Canada. They'll hate me for saying this. This is why I need out. They can come after me all I want. I'll fly, I'll fly the flag of freedom over the, over the Trans-Canada Highway. Because I want this to be, you know, Fraser Canyon, either Canton or one of the nations of the, north, of the Northwest. And let this be another star in the American flag. So, if you like that word, America, I have a difficulty with the border right now. I have some things happening I can come across soon. So, in the meantime, Freddie, you get where I'm coming from. I think New York and L.A. and so on is better places for me. But I don't mind. I don't like the high country. I, want to leave, I don't want to leave the high country. It's a high country around here upstairs anyway, up the mountains, right? Like upstairs, I call it. Deep canyon where I'm, alpine country above and plateau. Famous, famous gold trust country that was part of American history. That was forgotten by Canada. And I see all kinds of people from Canada, either in BC or back east, who think the caribou gold rush was what founded the colony. That was three years later. Yeah, it was totally different. You know why? Because the Canadians were involved. <laughs> so anyways, I'm thinking of the, another Yale convention that was one in 1867 that was about joining Canada, and they sort of rammed it through from 71. Long story how that happened and why, but it all had to do with money and debt because the colony never collected like a decent colony should. Connected fair revenue off the gold or the trees or the coal or the gas, which has caused all the dispute in the Northwest. Hey, we'll make money off the taxes from the workers. <gasps> oh, yeah, corporate capitalism in the most exploitative sense, both against the settler population who are here to maintain the pension system because the wealth of the country, like it does in Norway, does not maintain the pension system. So what do we do? Well, the king of Canada, queen of Canada, the king of Canada soon, perhaps, God bless her majesty, that she lives more. Uh, well, I don't know. Charles might be out to be a good king, and William. Yeah, William's a steward. Did you know that? Yeah, on his mom's side. See that charisma? That's the steward charisma. <laughs> I was thinking about that. You see that all history is converging on the truth of what Canada is not, which is a democracy. Confederation? Nice word. Well, what does confederation mean? Well, it's a committee of the first ministers called the Council of the Federation now, which were the, that was in the Charlottetown Accord, which we turned down, but they did it anyway. I'm talking to Canadians now, but also to the world, you see. Things happen here. The Charlottetown Accord, the Meech Lake Accord, the Spicer Commission, the Charest Commission. People talking back, what happened during Oka to the media. Oka is rarely seen in the outside world, and the archiving it is probably part of it, mostly been destroyed. You see, Canada erases its history to present a nice package to the outside world and our pretty little Prime Minister, who is just as much a media spawn as Mr. Trump. Quite frankly, he is. Oh, he's so soft, he's a feminist, like hell he is now. Not after what's happened in BC, he's not. And yeah, just in general, everything he promised, it's just mask, and he never does the opposite. He is a little henchman for, for the great powers behind the crown. The crown exists like it does in any monarchy to support the aristocracy, including in a beautiful country that I was in, which I won't name because I don't want to cause trouble there. And I, I just want to wish well to the princess on her campaign for the presidency or prime ministership, whatever she's running for, the, the sister of Roman Town. <laughs> great, great candidate. Great candidate. And, you know, it's a country that needs freedom like we all do. Mexico is working its way there. It's Oaxaca. Oaxaca, parts of Michoacan and, and Chiapas and, and, you know, any certain cities here and there are quite peaceful and, and calm. But what do you hear up there? Danger, danger, danger. Don't go to Mexico. They don't want you to know to go to the areas that are peacefully, democratically governed. Not with henchmen like Macron, Trudeau, and so on down the list. Trump, Trump, he's gone. <laughs> I think it's all a sideshow to keep people watching, not from seeing what the military are actually doing at this point. That's okay. They're smart guys. And right now I'm saying to them, hey guys, Here's my last, I'm trying to close this now. I'll send it to, send it to, send it to Freddie with some music in a sec. But this is, a, this is a deal. This is a deal. Hey guys, the US military, because I know you guys will be seeing this. Uh, you look at my granddad, right? Uh, you'll see who he was and who I, you know, he was, he was the American Army, you see. Uh, but but uh, also Canadian, uh, yeah, Army also, I guess it was. Uh, anyway. Uh, and who he was, and who my dad was, and so on down the list, right? Uh, but I'm, a, I'm I, and my American roots. And out here in BC, we're much more aware. Hey, free Columbia, please. Uh, Pacifica, I gotta stop calling it BC. It doesn't, we have, it's a, it's a convention, it's just a name for all of us. 
other people, the British, they're self-conscious about it. But it's just British. We just say British Columbia. It's a boo -boo, you know. But yeah, it's, it's just a name. So the names can change. But the names are up to the people. And the, name, the Constitution is up to the people. So before we join completely, we have to have an interim period where we deliberate our state constitution, which will include the First Nation sovereignties, rights away for the, for the, uh, the interstates, Yes, and the high-speed rail, and I recommend you do both on the same route, not ruin the more of the landscape than necessary. But yeah, respect everyone. The, the cantons, especially, but some some part of uh, some part of uh, the British Cordillera, the Pacific Cordillera, the region we're in, wants to stay separate with the First Nations as a, as a confederation of allied First Nations, and it's kind of like Andorra, Liechtenstein, Monaco, San Marino, like there's all the little inter, even Macedonia of a similar size to some First Nations, or there's things larger. Yeah, sure, there's not so many people in them, but why should they not have control over their own landscape, especially given the future? And they also have to reckon, I tell them, because of climate change, I tell everyone here, whether you like it or not, we're the wet corridor to Alaska that everybody is going to be looking for when it's, when it's south of 48, it's impossible to live anymore. And it's coming sooner than you think. And I'm not a doomsayer. I just know that the media can't quite grasp what the scientists are telling them, nor do the scientists want to... Not all of them want to be alarmists, but, you know, I can see the survivors of the United... the floor of 48 streaming north in just a few years. I, I ten at the outside of what's coming. Because there's other things coming that you haven't seen, like this year's fires and tornadoes and storms. This is the thing, it's like a top that started to whirl and burn. It's going to get good like this. Changes that we've never seen before are going to come. I'm not trying to alarm everyone. I'm just showing that the reasons for us, given the emergency situations that are going to arise, including the tectonic problems around here. Take a deep breath because I know of the, ge the geological consequences that there are, and it's better to just know that you have, a, you have to know what to do when the time comes and where to be. I won't go any more than that, but so be it. But yeah, it's a thing out here that, that, that when the emergency happens, Washington and, and Free Columbia, they have to let Okanagan are connected, the Kootenai is connected to the, to the cabinet and say it up around Libby Dam and Bonners Ferry and up through there. Um, Montana and back up through Cranbrook and the same down with south of well, the Okanagan goes down. It's Fraser Lowland, it's part of the Whatcom. Well, Whatcom, what is there's a ditch of the system farmland. That's the 49th parallel. Controlled by Ottawa, controlled by Washington. Now, given the way Ottawa is behaving towards us and always has, let me assure you, they always have. And they've, yeah, they've had, they've had rich magnates here like the current uh, Prime Minister's grandfather who was in charge of the forestry wing of Canadian Pacific. You see, and Gordon Campbell, well, who did he work for? Marathon Realty the real estate arm of Canadian Pacific. You see, we're still a colony of Montreal. You see? And I don't know, the BCR, CN, headquartered in Montreal, owned by the states, including Buffett's and Gates. So how what? Which country would you rather send representatives to? And a better thing, we have a better Bill of Rights, no notwithstanding clause. You know, yeah, we can keep our, 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 our civil service and our, and our health system, and we can make it better. If we join the United States, and Seattle becomes, yeah, they tried to Toronto fires. What did that do? Never mind, right? But Seattle's right there, and we've always had that I-5 connection, all of us. Let's take down the Berlin Wall of the Northwest, Pacific Northwest. Now, I think I might need to be on the other side of the border soon. I don't know. What if anybody hears anything happen to me? And just anything else? Yeah, I'm on the Trans-Canada Highway. I'm kind of broadcasting this, so I don't know. Radio Free Cordillera, how's that? That's what this is. Radio Free, Radio Free, Radio Free uh, Pacific or something like. I'm gonna play. Uh, I'll come up with a name. I want to use Radio Free Columbia. Uh, that would refer to the whole of the Columbia Department, which is also interesting. It just occurred to me. This is kind of a good thing, I think. This might really be interesting in the long run because of what's coming in the long run. But never mind, but the Columbia Department included Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Western Montana. Free Columbia, the free part of the Columbia Department. What a great name. I guess I'll use that. 
And I'll explain that now in this, I'll take out that little clip I just brought as to why that name. Cordillera is the Pacific Cordillera. We had known as the Pacific Slope. Although we do include some of the Mackenzie and, and, and that's what the Lyard and all that is, the, the, the Finley and, and Peace and stuff. Uh, so we include a lot of the Arctic too, subarctic basin, right? But we're the Cordillera, the Pacific Cordillera. And the Yukon is the, the Jets in general, like the Selwyns and the Mackenzies. Nobody goes in there. Or the Northern Rockies, a beautiful country. There's only so much left. Where I am, before the gold rush, was wild, full of game. It's all gone now. And other things, the ecology has changed here. It's part of the global change of take, 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 consume, 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 work, 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 work. This is the world for the young people I see, for the younger generations now. Now, maybe I had to get old to see this. I certainly had to get old to know what I had to do in life. And one of them is, Mike, do your songs. And, and I have a friend who insisted I do my music instead of politics, but they're the same thing for me. Because what I was saying about very often was, you know, all glory is about not being able to come to the land of the free and the home of the brave, you know? Uh, uh, and I'm from the country that's supposed to be true, strong, and free, and isn't it? It's not true. It's really not that strong. You guys could beat us up in a weekend <laughs> with, your back left, with your back left heel. And, and it's not true. Especially not if you're First Nations, or if you're poor. Because this is a hard country to be a poor in. I guess it is in Chicago and Detroit and stuff like that. But it's the attitudes here may be harsher. I don't know, I've not been poor in the United States the way it is these days. But I traveled both countries, backpack, a couple of bits of just getting to rub by, just hitching them back in the 70s when it was all okay. Everybody traveled. And if people picked up, and then they all got paranoid because the media on a certain film... Uh, the hitchhiker um, uh, that that made everybody a hitcher, whatever it's called, with uh, uh, Blade Runner guy. He's a friend of mine. I so met him anyway. Uh, and Hallie, uh, you see where I'm going? Then the British Columbia, which should have been what was it, Jefferson? What are you going to call it? No, that's Southern Oregon or something like that. Uh, there was a name they had. Of course, it was a president's name. You know, I don't know. No, 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 no. But you know what it would mean if we if we became a state. This is an important important thing to know. What good is it sending an MP to Ottawa and part of the current party system that won't reform itself even though there are demands from it for the public which the media are trying to say, oh, we don't have the poll support. Or the Prime Minister says, well, it's just not mine. I just, I just, I don't think you're ready for it. And I prefer this other system anyway. Who are you, Justin? Why, you're your father's son. Should I go on about the constitutional crimes? No, the the abuses of your father. And I mean the ones like the connection to Mr. Bennett through your grandfather for the forestry that was all the force of British Columbia was supposed to be collateral against land claims. And where we are, we're not now. You say, we'll talk re reconciliation and you send in troops. You let the Mounties start using APCs in suburban Burnaby I don't know. I just really don't know what's going on in this country. And we all see what's going on in the States because the media are good at covering it. It's great for TV. Fucking funny. You know, but the comedians here, they have this going on. I know I know a lot of them. Some of the great comedians, like Mar Mars Walsh. Uh, Mars Walsh, that's who it was, in the hot tub. <laughs> Mar Mads, the warrior princess. Okay, cut the warrior princess act, sweetheart. Come out to the cannon. we got to have a long talk. Look up my thing on IMDb. Uh, I know people you know, right, out in Howie. Anyways, uh, we I think I met you at sort of the door of the seahorse or something one night, or, or celebrities, revolution, what is that club on below Barrington? Anyways, never mind, I was in Howie for a while. Never mind Halifax. Halifax is another place that should be its own country. It got screwed over by Confederation. See, I'll continue this thing about Confederation, which all the Confederation came together was so that Britain could consolidate all its colonies in, in, and and pawn off its responsibilities on a, on, a, on a home parliament here. And a governor general, originally royal for many times, and or then generals and stuff from Britain, uh, upper class, and then Canadian upper class, and only lately has it become multi-ethnic for decorative purposes. And gendered. Well, it hasn't been transgendered yet. That would be interesting. You know, everybody likes to see Bill Shatner have it. I like that one. Yeah, Captain Kirk. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, what a great idea. I've got to talk to you about it. I hope he sees this. Anybody a sci fi? Because I know, I know people that send this to you, but that know Majo, right? The Captain Kirk is as Governor General. Let's do it, right? Let's nominate it from the expat Canadians. Because you know one so let's just try and close again. I'm getting about Nova Scotia got taken advantage. New, look up a film called Secret Nation. Oh, well, what happened in Newfoundland? It was a conspiracy between Joey Smallwood and the Mounties to uh, screw the vote. That's how Newfoundland joined Confederation. And the Republic of Newfoundland, you see a flag everywhere around St. John's and around, around, the, around the Rock, right? It's its own country like Ireland is. And it's like been colonized by Canada. And, and Iceland is full enough to think they wanted to join us. So I'll go to Iceland and warn them. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Iceland first, then back to, the, to Chicago. I'll go for asylum in Iceland and then come back maybe somehow to Chicago or New York where Freddie, hi, Freddie, we're going to have a good time around New York, okay? So listen, I'm going to send you surf pop, this thing called Mountain Hymn, I had a couple of ballads and some really crazy, eccentric, is it jazz rock bop? I don't know. Way whirling out in the middle of the Halifax Common or other locations that I'll talk about on each one. You can tell from the track where they were. Yeah, yeah, I played away and just under the sky wherever I want to go. So that's who I am musically. I just want to do that. I really do. But my songs, I'm a poet who learned to sing, but I always love to dance, and it's all fused into one now. I'm living in a beautiful place. I'm going to stay here and heal, leave, drink this wonderful water. Enjoy the starry skies of the canyon skies. In, in the way. It's winter, it's spring soon. It'll be beautiful here. But there's players out here, including old bros I'm going to meet up. And some from back from Halley, Dion McBeth. I've been going to invite him out. I have already, in fact. And for all oh, friends, certain people I know, places to go and play, just little places to go jam at or bars, you know, wherever, little the banks of the river, just wherever, up in the meadows, you know. I just want to do that, but I also know that I want to be a free American and I don't want to have to, to live with all the rights of Americans and a constitution that protects your rights and states' rights and allows counties to govern themselves without too much messing around from the state, where the governor does not have absolute power like the premier does, except in a minority government. Well, what's happened in the minority or the current supply and services arrangement with the, with the, with the Greens is, is that they can hold the minority party over the barrel and just do whatever they want. We cannot do anything that the, that the minority party wants. And when it comes time to do the referendum, sabotage the referendum to keep people from voting for it, who would vote for PR and were known to be likely to vote green. And now many want it, want to, and this political system now is like, oh, well, let's build the LNG project. Mr. Trudeau, we send in the troops in the Mounties. Okay, that's what just happened up here in Canada. I'm very angry about it. We've been violated more times than that, even recently. And this corruption scandal, ongoing stuff. What is it about Judy Wilson Raybould? And what was it about? Oh, another one. There's so many scandals in not ah, just him. Oh, ah, it's pretty bad. That's one of the worst. He's a pretty boy, and he takes his shirt off to get hits on his on his channel to appeal to young people to sucker him to voting for them. The Marijuana Legalization Act sucks, and everybody knows it. So Washington State has great laws. That line down the middle of the Whatcom Lowland and Fraser, it's across Langley Abbey and Surrey White Rock. That line divides us from freedom. Freedom freedom to go there and buy good pot. Instead of have the government in Ottawa decide, well, we're gonna do it this way. Are you indeed, Mr. Trudeau? Are you indeed? And with what troops? As it was once said by was it Hitler? How many divisions does the Pope have? Yeah, indeed. How many divisions does, does does Mr. Trudeau have? Oh, never mind. Right now it's Trump. He's not in charge of the military. Are you kidding? Or else bad things would have happened. They're just playing pieces on the board right now. And yeah, well, we won't go on about all well, There's a lot too much to talk to speak about Putin, right? There's too much to talk about outside, outside the world. And we are not a bubble. Really, we're not. We're not a bubble, us quote, Canadians, unquote. Well, Canada is a term referring to Central Canada. Canada, it's a Mohawk word for village. It's supposed to be a village community. We could do that in a televised fashion. We, we also had it for a few weeks in 1976 when Pierre said, no, stop that, but I'll double your budget. When people talking back was on, it was becoming a televised parliament. Everybody could crawl into these groups of people all over the country. The debate was getting very first. Same with the Spicer Commission, got shut down and ignored. The Charest Commission also. The Ladane Commission on Drugs back in 1972 got ignored. Royal Commissions are useless wastes of time. They are charades. 
The royalty has no power. It's the uh, at the discretion of the privy executive council, the executive no, the governor general and council, which is the executive council, the privy council. I think is all these terms that are. Why does anybody have to know all this to know how the grease flows? Because we know the machine is greased. We see it all the time, and who has what. And you know why the head of Raytheon, Lockheed, and all that other stuff was in and out of the, in and out. Of, he went into the part, the PCO under Harper, and then NPMO back out. You know, the little guy, the little guy that was also Lockheed and also like uh, not Raytheon, something, something else. Like the lock, the military industrial complex is all through the the, the, the Tories. It's also in the Liberals, as is the RCMP, who. Who created them? Yes, I believe it was Sir John A. Macdonald, was it not? The genociders who staged a famine on the prairies in order so Britain could have its railway and Montreal could own the West through the Canadian Pacific, and which built Vancouver. It did. There's some nice areas. You know, mm, yeah, pseudo Montreal more than Toronto by far. But here in the canyon, it's Old West. It's old, old. It is the old American West that has the British flag and the crown and the maple leaf flying over it when it should not. And it's crimes of the crown versus the democracy, the democratic system and the legal system of the United States. British common law has failed. We'll take the good parts of it, including the enshrinement of native law, but all the, the excuses and the lies of the corruption system, the payback system, by a prime minister, here's what you get. The Greece, the ongoing, the governor general who'd been, oh, I can't remember the governor general's many, many fingers in the military pie, but he became governor became governor general by, by being appointed to the Airbus Affair Commission inquiry so as to let Mulroney off, now laundered it as a straight so and, and keep all other Tories safe. I believe Mr. Scriber is the only one that really suffered. Conrad Black was allowed in. You see, it's a, it's a criminal conspiracy that the Tories, they are blatantly in public because they control the media. Money will do that. We used to have a better media in Canada. We had good journalists all abroad. And when the, that was all shut down, then all of a sudden there was no, oh, they bragged when they said, you know, there was no uh, no liberal, quote, was small, L, large, uh, less west of the Great Lakes. And the star is just as bad. It's out here now. It's trash. It does a little more cool, but it just, it still just twists and spins. It doesn't get the truth of British Columbia. We don't have a free press here. Frankly, we don't, you know, neither the, the other thing, the, the non-corporate papers aren't either. And even on what they call the progressive side, never mind. Never mind, it's one of my things. But this is the thing, America, I'm speaking of America again now, and the world. That I, as a born, quote, unquote, British Columbian, have been loyal, quote, unquote, and I would say hostile, except I love Americans as people, and it's a much more vibrant country. Audiences are great down there, which they're not often here. Cooler drinking laws, nicer highways, for sure. And now building a Cascadia maglev. Why, bro, uh, the governor of Washington, why don't you just get the financing to build it to Anchorage or Fairbanks and we'll just you see, why don't we look some vision like on the grand scale? Because we're going to have to. And you know why, sir? Because of the ecological crisis coming when you're going to see even through your own state. And you don't want them getting jammed at our border, do you? And watch them in Skagit and around Seattle. No, no, you're going to have millions of people fleeing north. Even this year, sir. This is Governor Inslee of Washington I'm talking to. You see? I hope they listen to this. I really have to find a way to somebody put up with the length I talk at. There's so much to talk about that's hidden from the U.S. and hidden from the world eyes by the great firewall of Canada. And what the great journalist, uh, Alan Fotheringham, calls, calls, he's still alive, the, the granite curtain, which is the Rockies. Now, many times the U.S. flag is often or almost flown over all of British Columbia. And I could go through the times when you've taken chunks of it. I don't mind now. Because I see Sitka and Juneau and what's going on in southeast Alaska, and I see the vibrancy of Puget Sound. And we have a really, really interesting rainbow culture like those areas do too. We don't have the military infrastructure because Ottawa is all self-centered. And where does the money go? Oh, if somebody wears the grease for the money, go with all of the kickbacks and the, oh, that was the thing about the, the contempt of parliament scandal. They were lying about how much it cost. And they're still back. They're still buying it from Lockheed. They're still buying it from Lockheed. What the fuck? They were trying to buy the prime minister by getting him to lie. I think, oh, I better, I better not say that. I might get sued. You see, I'm not certain, but it was all shady. 
All kinds of shady shit goes up on here. Great, very great, 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 great billionaire, zillionaire. Anyway, I know of that that was persecuted by a certain accounting firm and a certain security force. And you see, and the courts, oh, yes, the CRA, you know. Yeah, I could talk about that, but I'm still not sure it's entirely legal to because he was under publication ban for so long. And there's a lot of stuff here which would be forced open in court in the states according to the Constitution of the U.S. Here the Crown can do what the fuck it wants. This is an autocracy, a kingdom calling itself a dominion. No, it's supposed to be the Queen's on the throne, or it's a kingdom when there's a, when there's a young fop from one of the aristocracy in the Petonius part of Montreal, so two very rich families, the Elliots and the Trudeaus, the Elliots and Kennedys, you know. From one of the richest families of the Chateau Clique, which is the establishment in Quebec, as your Prime Minister, painted as a pop icon. Every bit as much an oligarch as Amina Glarov, frankly. I don't know where it's all hidden, but it's like Paul Martin, who gave, gave all the steamship, Canada's steamships to his sons while he was Prime Minister. I don't know the situation now. But I know we had great men in Canada's past, but we don't really have many. And now I'm, I can tell you so much about Trudeau that I didn't know when I was young, his senior, I mean, uh, that I didn't know when I was younger. So now they're bleh, bastard. You know, that, that we've had the world suffer and the whole world is suffering. Now the French, the French are truly in the streets fighting for the freedom of the world, including themselves, especially themselves. But they're laying the groundwork. I want to see that applied here in free Columbia as a model for reform of the adjoining states if they want they have the capacity to do that in a state you see you can change the state constitution here no no constitutional change is too difficult look what happened last time yeah they staged a a thing to show off about oh well we're going to have the, the the clarity act and do this if that happens and well you know what you can keep the debts because you got us into debt by cheating us despite the equalization payments and especially cheating the people the holders of the collateral that you help the social credit cheat the First Nations out of, and, and his, his father, father, Justin, Pierre, cooperated to do that, and got the cooperation of Pierre to do it with Bill Bennett, and take all the land that was supposed to be native, the beautiful expanses of timber and game, oh, can't explain the beauty, <gasps> that's gone, and his wasteland now. It looks nice. You wouldn't know if you hadn't seen before, but you can't expand the comprehension of it anywhere in the province, including the Lower Mainland, which was quite beautiful before the suburbanization. So anyways, America, I could go on about the history here. I just was making notes with a friend about, you know, getting to New York. You know, I'm, I'm going to happen, Freddie. I'm going to send you some songs. And a lot of them are about freedom. One of them's called Old Glory. Another one's called Bourbon Street. You know, as about being able to play Bourbon Street. I can't now, for now. Also, Texas. You know, the blue Texas skies, the line is in there, you know. Anyways, Old Glory is in there about Old California. I'm stuck up here in the North Country, you know. That's another title for it, Old California, North Country. But I've been along the thin white line from here to St. John's and back twice. Bouncing back and forth in the Maritimes and then totaling up from Halifax twice, three times. I'm not sure, four. I'm kind of not an Atlantic person, but I loved it back there because, you know, people are friendly. While there is poverty, people are still friendly and have a good time here. Everybody's miserable. And why? Because life is difficult. And it's difficult because of the economic system, which is caused by the banks. Who own the oil infrastructure and have these huge debts to them. Well, I'll tell you what. Debts can be sold for cheap as a certain bald-headed, conservative-flated, flavored plutocrat. Oh, yeah, Kevin. Kevin with the bald head on Dragon's Den. You know who I'm talking about. He says debts are great because he makes money off them. Well, I'll tell you what. He buys them at wholesale. So I'll tell you what, Kennedy. You can take your debt, shove it up your ass when the American troops send in to, to, to protect our plebiscite. No, I don't think we'll need one because the threat of it will remind you that you've already offended them, you know, with your pipeline nonsense, right? Oh, I'm going to cut off the fuel. Are you indeed? I could, I, could hear the, I could hear the commander of Puget Sound military, the high command, going, oh, is he indeed, and talking to the governor and going, get a load of these assholes. Do you think they were happy about it? And the governor keeps on saying, more media keeps on coming about it, the governor keeps on saying, we're watching this very carefully because it's a national security interest of the United States. 
the fictional national interest of Canada in the pipeline. No, it's in the national interest of Kinder Morgan. <laughs> so anyways, uh, never mind Enron, but, but, uh, which is also has BC Hydro in its clutches. But since all that's here, and we can't expropriate the American investments, in, especially in British Columbia, which include a large part of our government infrastructure now. So if that's the case, that's really where I'm coming from. It comes also out of the BC Rail scandal. Everything I've seen happens through my whole life. Washington, let's make a deal. Protection for the First Nations. Sovereignty. And yeah, you can build high-speed rail north because you're going to need it within 10 years. Really lots of people. And rather than overrun Washington and us, why not just build the railway to Alaska? Right through us. The 51st, maybe 52nd, 53rd states. Because I had to tell you what, we're a great deal considering what you got. You got the connection between the Puget Sound and Alaska. At last, be a different world if Teddy took it in 1902. I think he would have had more fun shooting up South Africa, but that would have been an awful thing. That was what they threatened to do, and why Britain gave way on Skagway and Haines, and we lost. They put a, a troop, a, troops into Rangel where there'd never been any Russian forces. And Tongass was also, but they moved in Civil War volunteers. Like, I see how it happened. That was fine. You guys needed land after killing each other for a few years. And you found out pretty quick you couldn't kill off the Klinkit. But yeah, it's a beautiful country, Alaska. I can't go there. Right nearby, relatively speaking, a whole lot closer than Toronto. Or the Maritimes. But all the little parts of Canada cross. And Lakehead, the prairies, the north. The great Cree nation, Dana and Day, which is the Dana country, and, and you know other places I can name. You know, uh, these are all countries that are mostly native other than the resource workers and, and mm, political infrastructure people like the police and social workers and the, re the retailers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, taxes and stuff. We've got a lot of science in the north. Not like Norway does, though, right? And not like Greenland has as an autonomous country within the kingdom of Denmark. And what do we have? The territories where it costs like $25, $30 for a head of lettuce to make the airlines rich. You see, this is the whole thing. Oh, it costs too much money. Why does it cost so much money when you're not when you're not getting fair fair dollar and making people work to support the social system when you're when you're charging so little for resources and when you do buy a government contract, it's a corrupt as hell and it's a revolving door system. And even the governor general's digital uh, digital voting system, I think, was involved in the in the uh, Mulcair selection at the Montreal NDP convention where the digitals went wrong. That was really suspicious. There's so much that goes on here that's suspicious beyond even what I know. So in America, if you want me out, if you want to rescue me someday, send in choppers maybe. I might be in circlement like they did at Oka, but I'm that loud. They don't like me talking about the things that they've done here, especially the guys in, I don't want to say it, uniform. We really don't. I'm on their list already. So what the hell? Uh, I'm going to design a rainbow flag with a 51st, 52nd, 53rd star in it and nominating South Island, Lower Mainland, Squirt Whistler, Lower Mainland, Sea Sky, whatever areas adjoining it want to be in it. I mean, Seashell's different, I don't know. They're all cantons, are there other cantons that can consolidate self-governing cities and municipalities, but also in a system that integrates with the native governments as sovereign. They have to be sovereign in order for native, uh, the native untreated situation to be resolved. Okay, so then that would be South Okanagan also. Okanagan, Shushwat, maybe, I don't know, South, Southern Interior, maybe Kootenai, Okanagan Kootenai with Kamloops, Caribou, and, you know, Prince George, Dominica or something like that as cantons. A lot of those would have uh, native components, First Nations components, and there's Métis here. Everybody has rights in British Columbia that they don't have in the U.S., but all at the same time, the U.S. Constitution guarantees those rights. And the U.S. native land is sovereign. Native land is sovereign, which is not here. The Crown still wants them to surrender title to what? Well, other than the physical and mental rate they went through, rate of the land, for the profit of Toronto and Montreal, through the guise of Ottawa, and the maple leaf waving, aren't we so nice? We're Mr. Nish and Nash Lang. Isn't our Prime Minister cute? No, we got suckered. He's worse than Harper. He's worse than his father. You see me? I'm just drawing back. He's worse than his father. His father wasn't such a corporate puppet. He had his own mind. A little Nazi riding around Montreal with a spike helmet on when he was a teenager claiming to be a communist. Ah, Mr. Jackboot Edition 1. 
I won't go on through the history of jackbooting in Canada. It's long and nasty. Canada is an authoritarian state where you step out of line with the existing rule, whether it's the, the Ghanaian God, the Mohawk crisis, Oka, uh, and all that happened in, in 1990, other things that have happened, the Yellowknife mine strike. Uh, it's been put down with the jackboot. This is the history of Canadian authoritarianism. Isn't it cute when you buy those Mounties? Hey, what, hey look at this little Caesar's figure. He looks like he's on X-Files. Oh, no, 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 that's what I'm I don't buy those. They're unlucky. We don't even know what the budget there is. is. The, book, the books here are cooked, not just cooked, they're hidden. I can't go on about it. This Sharper lost three, it's a loss of $3 billion. Well, where did it go? Never mind. We kind of know. Into the black hole. Into the black hole of the security state and the corporate state that is actually an empire that keeps people poor and the natives, uh, never mind. Canada is not what you think it is, America. So I say, oh, I was singing a, a new lyric. Saying, my dad loved this song. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. They have seen all the, John Brown's body, the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Well, I'll be singing it in the canyon for you. My dad loved that song. So it just came to me this morning because of the way I feel about Old Glory. Old Glory needs another star in it, and a couple of three maybe. And nice new ideas in a rainbow, a rainbow, a series of rainbow nations and cities. To join Rainbow America in strength and solidarity, provide free passage north for when the crisis comes. And when the border happens, when the quakes happen and horrible fucking things happen, whether it's a nine or a straight in Georgia, any major quake on volcano in the in this area, oh, never mind how many people would die. But but it, Ottawa is clueless about here. There's no there's no infrastructure out here other than troops to build a pipeline. While they're out here to fight the fires, or were they? How many and where are they from? But they didn't, I don't know, let the Russians in at this point. Hey, Vlad, I say we need global, so not Vlad, I say, hey, uh, I don't know who gets uh, who gets to be uh, president next, Vlad, but uh, hey, Polanski, uh, you know, never mind. He, he, I, I kind of knew him indirectly through, through, through another, another oligarch in, in Cambodia who I worked for at a radio station without re ever seeing him directly. Polanski. But anyways, hey, whoever's there next, you know, uh, we're going to help with fires. When you guys need help with yours, it would really help if all the boundaries came down. Hey, China. But China doesn't even know. China doesn't even know what, fully what's going on. They are prepared for the future, though. You know, the government, I'm sure they are. That's what those cities are for, that everybody says are ghost cities. Yeah, well, of course they're ghost cities. Because in not too long, they're going to have to be filled by the people from the North China Plain. That's 500, 600 billion, million people that will be underwater within 20 years or sooner. Not 100 years from now. Gradualism has no place in history. And we know have all kinds of evidence for this. When things start to happen, they happen fast. This can also happen with Free Columbia, America. Not Free Columbia. Come up with, with cantons and name themselves. And the Native nations can have their sovereignty. You guys can have corridors with high-speed rail to get lots of you to the survivable zones farther north. And yeah, I give the Klondike a couple of senators or two, you know. So yeah, Klondike, Yukon and Klondike is, is, is just call it Yukon and Klondike as a state, like Newfoundland and Labrador. They're a country. New, they're a separate country. Labrador, and it's all Aboriginal in Labrador too. You got to reckon with that, right? And, and Quebec, Northern Quebec is being colonized. Northern Ontario and the natives are suffering for it. This is the truth, not just the natives, but also the working poor of the country, and just people in here in British Columbia that can't afford to live anymore. You know, and they say, oh, there's more Czech professionals moving to Vancouver. Yeah, wealthy ones that are pushing us out. I don't care, because it's a shitty place now. It used to be a wonderful city, Vancouver. We really laid back, and we had a great peace movement. What are we now? Oh, debt, 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 work, 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 credit, 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 credit. That's all it is now. Banks, 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 banks. Now, I know some very fine people that work at banks. And credit unions, and they understand the situation. That, that but I'm I'm on to the fact that the American political and economic system is much freer than it is when controlled by Toronto and Montreal in the form of Ottawa, and controlled by Parliament in Victoria. When Vancouver should be governing itself, as should the Okanagan, as should the South Island, in a Swiss-style Confederacy. That once we've solved that, we deliberate that Constitution, of America. Then we'll vote to join. Some areas will and some won't, but you will have your corridors to Alaska for I-5, I-15, I-25, high-speed rail from Seattle through to Denver. Uh, sorry, sail through to Anchorage, wherever the routes, Anchorage and Fairbanks. 
and Denver through Calgary and Fort St. John. It can be done. We stop building about pipelines to get people to safety. This is what China is doing by building all those new cities that everybody goes, oh, look at all this real estate that's going to crash. But, well, they're not in earthquake zones, most of them. They're really finely built, you know, and they need, they need to be filled. Well, they're going to be filled. They are, the Chinese government has foreseen. Because they see the future in the ways that the one-party government system foresees the future. And, and, of course, Mr. Trudeau complimented on their authoritarian system. He loves it like his dad did. Anyways, I could go on about the Trudeaus and their inherent Maoist, uh, Maoist take on, on corporate fascism. It's really interesting. And Canada is a delusionary media state, and uh, McLuhan, McLuhan and others were twisted in their teachings. Let's, uh, I have to close the window to get the light off me and my eyes. I'm working on the computer now. As soon as I stop this, it's hard for me to stop talking when I'm talking about what I see coming. And that's why, as a singer, I have to sing about it. When I've been singing about that for Songs of Liberation for France and for the world, in French also, and I don't know, Hey le va, which means, I hope it means, the whole thing was. Hey, hey, Linda, hey, Linda, the whole thing was in Norwegian. So, so it's kind of in random Norse. I like my French is, it's rough, rough and rowdy. You know, it's rough and rowdy like my music, even my ballads. So I don't know, I've got some great player friends, a couple of them, they're all going to cover the songs. I just asked Dion last night, and Rocco here to have some songs, bro. Learn this before you come, let's have some fun. I like to write stuff with friends, you know, that's what I'd rather be doing, but I know they're going to be about the things I believe. I'm a poet. I learned the electric guitar, and then I learned to sing with it. Yeah, and my, finally my poetry that I left, that it sing, things happened to it when I was 20, in my mid-20s. And things happened at 30, throw me off course and since. But you always get stronger each time you come back, and like it ever is. So anyway, I'm playing good, and that's what I do. But, but because I'm a poet who sings, and I have as a serious poet, not like somebody who goes, Oh, that's a nice poem, can I buy your book? No! No, no, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. The kind of poet that I am. That's the word. In Greek, it means maker. Creator. Poetry isn't just words. No, it's music and magic. There I go. You see, I'm becoming not another person, but my real person. As well as my, my flying flag of freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I don't know, railway to Alaska? Sure, why not? Make it a high-speed one. You're going to need it. That's my final word. The fires this year are going to be very scary. California and Arizona and Nevada, all the rest of you. Utah, geez, you know, I don't know what's going on there, but climate change is hitting everywhere hard. It's going to hit the Midwest in all kinds of ways and the South. And you got that political situation to resolve, but let's not go there right now because this is about what's happening in the States doesn't matter right now. What's happening in the way that Canada treats free Columbia and the West in general, anywhere that's not Ontario, not in the Windsor, Quebec City, money built, the Golden Horseshoe in the Greater Montreal and St. Lawrence Valley, all St. Lawrence, Ottawa Valleys. The money belt, the power belt. I give ministers to the Maritimes a lot, and why don't why the Maritimes be his own country? United Acadia is my nomination for the name. Yeah, something like that. That, that Prince said they were once a unit. So it makes them a unit again. They'd work better and, and cut out all the bullshit politics by making all the, every little village and every little city self-government and no city in charge of, of wealth far away the way it is now. You know, like the wealth of the Wet'suwet'en country, the Bulkley, and that whole area, the Chaco, the Amanika, these areas in northwestern BC, has been stripped and the natives are poor. Now, why is that? Now, why is that for all the great wealth that was taken out of there? And they're not just natives, but there's white people in the same situation. They're now like towns are empty. That's the thing, America. we got lots of nice empty towns. Ocean Falls is kind of wet, but, you know, it's kind of a nice place when it's sunny. Ooh, yeah. And places that need filling up, like Braylon, and they won't like what I just said. The little towns, and I don't want it to change. Well, I'll tell you what, they don't have no chase. Because you guys need somewhere to go, and they're nice places to live. But come to a free country, a free, a free state, the free state of Pacifica. How's that? And we'll eventually form to go and, and vote to join the United States. Not too long, I don't think it'll take if we all and we'll do what Iceland did. No politicians, no lawyers, no bankers, no police allowed in the deliberations. Seriously. We need an East Germany situation, people. The wall must fall. See, the wall must fall. This is the, this is the Berlin Wall of the Northwest here. That's the wall between Whatcom County and the Lower Mainland where five becomes 499. 
the Berlin Wall of the Northwest. Well, I can't cross it for now, but hey, I'd rather go to Seattle than fucking Toronto, that's for fucking sure. And have Toronto decide what's get on air here, and they're sending in broadcasters from here. Nah, Seattle has their decent ones, although you have the same corporatized problem we have. But you're a more fun city. You're a more fun city, and you're more like us. And you're more cosmopolitan. Hey, I'd love to go get to New York and play, play get Zango with Freddie and, and play there, you know, same with MLA and all American places. But I can't do that because I'm a Canadian. I might have been in jail for what I did in the States. That's fine. Lots of people have been in jail, and they're often the smartest, most honorable people you'll ever find. I've learned a lot about and there's various during the debates on the criminal code up here, and never mind about all that. The famous uh, uh, Bill C-51. They had a guy talking. He was a, a prisoner who had done political philosophy, and he was talking. He was still in, and he was talking about the rights of votes. Right, the prisoners ever, but they're like, I can't remember if they're kept for voting, but he was like on about the nature of the system that it takes a criminal to see a criminal and understand the system. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And the fact is, a lot of these criminals are actually really, really politically knowledgeable people. Many of them are, I don't know if they can run for office or not. Mr. Harper still can, even though he was convicted of contempt of parliament, which is contempt of court. But because he was a first minister, he got his way and got to retain his seat until the next election. You see, America and Britain, you did this by walking away from this problem because your system is what we inherited. Our system is sort of saying about William Pitt the Younger earlier. The political system in Canada dates to the time of, of uh, George IV or George III or the Regency George IV, I suppose, and then the, t- the early time of Victoria, the consolidation of power behind the throne in the forum of Parliament, controlled by the First Minister, number 10. Ours is 34 Sussex and the young fop of a Montreal aristocrat who thinks he's a, a dictator jackboot. His dad was a smart man. You know, he was a smart man and witty, but every time he was witty, he did something vicious. Now, Justin's pretty, and he knows how to talk with a microphone in his hand as though nobody else is listening, as I do. But hey, Justin, you're not going to shut me up, buddy. You're not going to shut me up. I saw what your father did, and I see right through you. I see right through you. What I see with the U.S. situation is is it's a government system where the state has freedoms, including its own constitution. It can change. It can have a state legislature where the governor interacts to keep them from being supreme ruled by the governor. Like judges, sheriffs, I don't know. We've never had that. It'd be interesting. But we don't have, there's lots of slap, tribal police that, that, that we need, like, regional police for each area that aren't controlled from Ottawa, like is the current situation with E Division which is the, the British Columbia unit of the RCMP on contract to the provincial government that replaced the British Columbia Provincial Police. Why is it to do with the Duke of Board? It may have not have been W.A.C. Bennett's choice. That's just a speculation. It's an interesting one. I should bring it up with Lauren and Carolyn Brown if they're up. Their life. I believe they might be the people who wrote an unauthorized history of the RCMP. I don't know. I want to get that published in the United States. Yeah, that's another reason I should go to New York. Not to, not to do the editing, but say, look, this has to be done. Books from here that Americans have to read, like Dan Marshall's new book, Don Hawkins' book. Americans have to read what went on here as a part of the liberation of, of, of free Columbia from the Dominion and its entry into the United States as the 51st, 52nd, 53rd, however many new stars. We're in alliance with the, the sovereign and friendly uh, First Nations, we call them. We'll just call them sovereign nations of the Northwest. They're unsurrendered territories. The crown has no rights here. And ah, well, I want to see the American flag fly over free Columbia and whatever it wants to be called and the, and the sovereign nations of the Northwest. And the sovereign nations and cantons of the Northwest, those parts that join should join the United States could be states and stars in the flag. All the way to Alaska. North to Alaska, I'm going to learn to play. Rocco, north to Alaska, we're going to cover, okay? I'm going to do my country dick. If you don't know who that was, oh, never mind. I've talked to you long. You get the idea. Freedom, freedom, liberty, equality, fraternity, social justice, and peace. That's what we want. And we don't want, well, I could go on about what's happened to our military, but I just talked about the military-industrial complex. All the paramilitary, ah, 
the force. The force. And who's above the force that was created because the force was doing illegal things, so illegal, thing, illegal things should be done, quote, legally, unquote. And what's above them? Well, let's not, not speak of that. But the force and the crown and the dominion in the north. I don't want to be part of it anymore. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. They have seen the talk of Zatters and the drapes of wrath are stored. My eyes, i got to learn the words. It's a great song. It's one of the very many great American national songs. It's so beautiful. Wow, it brings tears to my eyes. Something. I'll tell you what, oh, Canada it doesn't. No, it doesn't. And it's about something you wouldn't know what it's about in French, so we don't want to get into it. So Canada is not what it seems. Mr. Trudeau is a fraud. Mr. Trudeau, a plus mal que, que M. Macron. Un serpent. Un serpent avec les, les, les fangs de diamants. And stylish shoes. And a nice haircut. And he needs some weight on that skinny body that he likes to show off to get the teens to vote for him. Like, oh, this guy's cool. He's young. He's the same age as Harper. Good God. People are so stupid, but they're stupid because the media and the education system have made them that way deliberately. Educational reform is all part of the new constitution. We need uh, we need to have constitutional assembly. So I'll get around to what I originally started this whole thing about, about the Yale Convention in 1867. Well, 2019, I want to have another Yale Convention. And you know what? It might be better to call it the Sumas Convention or the Peace Arch Convention. But the Yale Convention is more symbolic because that's where it's convenient to the lower mainland and the island. And it's convenient to the interior, more or less. Yes, it is. It is. It's the main doorway into the interior right at Yale and where I am in the, in the, in the canyon. So the Yale Convention on Sovereignty is what I'm going to call it. And all groups are invited, all municipalities. No, municipalities, voters from municipalities, and the mayors, if they want to come, councillors, not to disagree. No, no, no. This is a constitutional convention for the new state of Free Pacifica, Free Cordillera, whatever it is, the sovereign states of Free Cordillera, something, some name. I, I don't like the Cascadia name. I think some area can have that if they want. You know, but it's usually in the north. Some people like it, but I just think these other names are more suitable. And the sovereign nations and cantons of the Northwest. Cantons for now, maybe we come up with a better system. But well, Oaxaca has this. Chiapas has this. I think Bolivia has something like this. Other countries have good systems. So does Switzerland. And France is on the edge of the Sixth Republic with a new format of it that if we adopted it here as a state constitution, where each valley governs itself like Switzerland, but we still get it so that young people can go run for POTUS or run to the Senate, we can send our good people down there into Congress. What happens to them when they go to Ottawa? They have their nuts cut off and they're outvoted by uh, by Toronto and Montreal anyway. It's a fucked up system, the Empire of Canada. Down with the Dominion. I, I, I hesitate to say disband the force because that's a dangerous thing to say, but we need to have not just an inquiry into the, into the Mounties, what they are and what they've done. Now I'm speaking dangerously here, very dangerously. But how, how much they have with their own political agenda, which I believe lies behind many things, including, I won't start the list, but I wonder sometimes where the motives are coming from and the why. About everything else I say, it's a kind of different topic, but I've seen American power extend in here, partly through the security forces. So if that's the case, we need American democracy. Or Canadian democracy does not exist. Canada is an empire of Upper Canada and Lower Canada. The name was extended to the Pacific and Atlantic. Canada as a proper name, without it being referring to the nation state created and named by assembling all the crown colonies to keep it from being American, that have been weaker because of it, and not as autonomous, and not as free. And right now that's critical because there's bad things going on. And this guy's corrupt as asshole, and Sheer would be even worse. And oh, it's a horrible system. Down with Parliament, down with the crown, up with the flag of the United States with more stars in it and sovereign nations allied. You know, it can be done, and peaceably. So maybe at the peace search, a convention, or I'll try and see you go there. And see, you know, I, can't, I can't start this movement. People have to start it themselves. I'm just a guy who sees the political truth of the thing. 
And I don't know I, if, if it might be safer, me a better place for me to be in the United States talking about it because I can talk about it all day. Because I know enough to talk about it. Even instances you have to have a citation for that. Who are you? Where's your degree? All oh, go to hell. So I've absorbed a lot of information. Anybody who says that kind of thing, because I've gone, I've read more than they ever have. I'm not a specialist. I see this and that and this and that. Wait a minute. They went, whoa, 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 whoa. And I understand the constitutional reality, the de facto government by corruption, which is the parliamentary system. Prime ministers are bag men in chief, and so are premier, provincial prime, prime ministers are different. It's all a system of Greece, as are the Indian Act chiefs, which are not the legitimate indigenous governments, as is also a critical issue in the Wet'suwet'en and along the pipeline route. It's so complex up here, you know the way to make it simple? Tell Canada to fuck off. That's what I say. I'm going to start figuring out what I'm going to put up. Some kind of thing about free Columbia. You know, you're passing through the occupied occupied state of free Columbia. That would get me some danger. Maybe I'm just better do that. It really would. That would get me payback in the form of thug violence. And the police would do nothing. Or police just fucking come and take me away in the middle of the night. I don't know. They drug Bruce Graham. Bruce Clark. Jack Graham. Never mind. It's dangerous to speak of that kind of thing here. Or Mr. Brake, who was a Sikh millionaire I was watching. I went to high school, billionaire, that I went to high school with. There's other stories like that I know that are very dark and ugly by United States media standard that you're taught to ignore, and you're given false stories. And this nice, pretty prime minister, aren't they nice people? And we wish we could go there. Well, I wish you would too. I wish you would bring your freedom with you, America. We all need it, not just Alberta and Saskatchewan, who are your prime candidates, according to the State Department. Newfoundland needs it. Manitoba, the lake needs it. It's supposed to be one country, you know. Ontario took a chunk by force. Yeah, yeah, shit happened here. Halifax used to be a booming city until Quebec City and Montreal took all the trade with the railway also mm-hmm. on the Atlantic. This is a railway built by empire, the rail, empire built by railways, and the railways were built with native blood and land. And political treachery and economic theft, the outer areas are still undeveloped. Well, Toronto and Montreal just go boom, 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 boom. And Vancouver, while well, the rest of the province struggles. And it's growing too fast for the geotectonic situation. It's a geotechnical nightmare waiting to happen. And when it happens, whoever governs British Columbia, whatever form of government is, has to work closely with Washington State, will be equally devastated. There are no Canadian infrastructure here to support it. Are you going to fly into a devastated lower mainland from Edmonton? Some troops? Where are you going to land them? What airport? Which one? Well, I know what's going to happen. You see, and it's scary as shit. But we need to be a solidarity in the Northwest, Puget Sound, Georgia Strait. We need to be an American state. Free Columbia needs to be an American state. I truly believe this. So, I don't know. I hope to be in America soon. And I don't know. In the land of the free and the home of the brave. I'm brave. I'm nobody in terms of who I am here. But I got a loud voice and obviously very pointed thoughts, if rambling. But, you know, so did Hunter S. Thompson and Jack Kerouac and that whole crowd, Ken Kesey, Thomas Pynchon. Can't call Tom my hero because he, he wouldn't want me to. He lives near here. It'd be fun if he showed up someday out of the blue. No, nobody knows what he looks like. Hi, I'm Tom Pynchon. Where can we go and talk? Yeah, that would be so totally crazy. Like, American literature is like, can lit, oh, God. I won't go on it, but I'll have to do a, lo- a vlog about my friend Bill Hoffer, the late Bill Hoffer, someday, and his thoughts on Canada. Anyways, uh, I'm not a published author. I'm just a loudmouth with a golden tongue, perhaps. I don't know. And I know a lot of history of both yours, ours, world, everything, also science, what's coming. So it's scary as shit. But you know what? Don't panic. Don't panic. Solidarity, unity, liberty, fraternity, equality, social justice. The rich must fall. Bring down the chateaus again. Let the people rule. This is a message coming from France. That's what I say too. The crown is a lie and it's pulling too much bullshit and the first minister like Mr. Trudeau and an endless series of corrupt a-holes. And they always get worse and worse and worse and nobody can stop them. So you're having fun deciding on whether to impeach Mr. Trump or not. I wish you'd get to that. We're surprised you hadn't got rid of him yet. But yeah, up here they just resign and keep it all concealed. 
But that was a bad mistake. Never mind. <laughs> you have a position that's too much like a king. And that's fine. We'd like to be able to vote for them and senators. And I'd like to send congressmen and have a say in the primary next year for the selection of a president. Ah, that's it. What do you say to have him? What would four million new voters uh, of a rainbow population, a lot of, a lot of the right wing too, uh, would contribute in the way of uh, seats and a presence in the U.S. Congress and in the Senate? Four new senators, six, eight, I don't know. Depends on how things get cut up. You know, once, how, who wants to join what? And I'd recommend that the sovereign nations of the indigenous peoples have at least two senators between them somehow. That they're a consolidated unit. Now, some of them are quite into prospering, like a Soyuz and some of them, Kamloops, uh, going, they have good relations with local trade and business, and they're all businesses in their own right. It can all be done, America. It's easier to do it as being part of the United States. I don't care what people say, but oh, I don't want to join Trump. Oh, they're all so scary. No, there's a lot of great Americans. Ocasio Cortez, I could go down the list. Kamala Harris, Bernie, of course. You know, and the kids from Parkland, you know. And where are they in the media now? Well, they're shoulder to side like everybody gets in the media. But I'm going to go talk to them if I can get down to Florida. Hi, guys. And some other people I know who love freedom and truth. And there are more of them in the United States than there are here. So XL would be really good for me. I don't think I'd be drowned out down there and ignored down there. Certainly not. So I got my own little studio here. I'm not going to show you the kitchen, but I got my own little, uh, a little bit. Yeah, I got shelving and... I'm going to turn this in my little studio to record in and do uh, uh, green screen and stuff like that. i got some friends coming over to play music. That's who I am, what I do. i got to stop this. So I'm, uh, look me up on YouTube, I guess. Mike Clevin. I'm Mike K-E. Uh, uh, Clevin, like 11 went to see. That's how it goes. Anyways, this is just my thoughts on on a Yale convention in this summer to debate on sovereignty and free association and self-determination. Cantons and sovereign nations, including a debate. No, we'll leave it at that for now. With but with the suggestion that, that, that those that wish to, of the cantons and nations, wish to fly the American flag, will have be able to do so and take part in that political system, or be sovereign like Andorra and San Marino, Liechtenstein and Luxembourg and Macedonia, and uh, what is it, uh, Moldova, and Transnistria. They can all be done. Why not self-rule? Without a need for military. So you have to hold off the Canadians. But how many divisions does Mr. Trudeau have? Now, America, Stephen Harper signed a deal with George Bush, which is really nice to you to know. I'm sure the governor knows it. I'm sure the military knows about it. But the U.S. can move troops into Canada at any time for any reason in any number without having to call Ottawa. Well, sir, to the high command of the U.S., the Supreme Command, who, of course, never mind the orange one. Yeah, if you want to invade, now would be the time. But why don't you make us a state? Help me stage a plebiscite. Help me stage that movement. I know it can be done, because the other side is staging what it's staging. I'm speaking of progressive America. And there's American media support, including uh, other entertainers. I guess I'm an entertainer. I don't see myself as that. I'm a singing, a poet who learned electric guitar and sing also on piano and play penny whistle. And yeah, a poet who wrote, but now it's all script. It's all script for my songs. It flows out of me now. I should do some of that today instead of talk to you. But i got to keep on cleaning my house. I made these notes about... Maybe it's be better for me to go to the land of old glory. It might be safer than here, but I want it to wave here. I think it's better that I stay here in the heart of the Fraser Canyon and the foundation of the colony, which was part of the American West and should be again. This is called Boston Bar for a reason. Boston is the old name for American and the Chinook jargon because most of the fur traders were from there. It's marine fur trade. A lot of the miners were too, but it's a long story. Boston Bar. North Bend. Wyoming. This is the proper name. Wyoming. Beautiful spot, but this was part of American history. Almost became it several times. <laughs> Why does it happen right now? Because I'll tell you what. Governor Inslee, uh, I know you, can, you can't send in the National Guard, but I'm sure it's in your interest to say, yeah, it would really help if the Lower Mainland and the Okanagan were kind of integrated with us without having that fucking border in the way. You see? And it would help to have better relations if you all had the same legal system. You didn't have Ottawa fucking around it without knowing what the fuck they're doing. Especially in a geo geotechnical crisis, like we're going to see some very 
It's all too soon. All too soon. Anyways, I hope I'm safe here. Just suffice to say that. I think I am. My instincts wouldn't have let me here otherwise. I gotta go. I hope that was all very interesting, America and Canadians. People who think they're Canadians and have been sold on the idea. If you're loyal to the crown and think Canada is a good idea, oh, it stands for higher principles. As somebody, a, friend, a journalist friend in Williams Lake said, what higher principles? The crown is a better system. It stands for higher principles. Well, I'll tell you what, gentlemen, the honor, which is partly the foundation of the parliamentary system, is long gone. And corruption is deep, and it has a slick PR machine. So what is it? What kind of principles is he talking about? The crown has higher principles than the U.S. Constitution. Does it really? And what is the notwithstanding clause then? Anyway, that's the kind of thing I mean. The American Constitution is so superior that I believe that by, oh, I don't know, at least four new, four new senators and a whole, that'd be, British Columbia and Alberta would be nine million, I think, together. We're larger than they are, maybe five now. But that's a lot of the, the new nations. What you want to call the immigrants, these are aspiring citizens. Because we need those people too, because it's often the young and talented. Many of them would be better off in their own country, but they're here for their own safety because a lot of those countries are bad countries, like your own. But a free Columbia, you know, during the course of the conversion to after the after the convention, that the areas that need settlement, you know, are welcome. Would, 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 there are places for people in the states who need safety from persecution or a creative, creative space where they're not going to get beaten up on the street or insulted in the supermarket or shot down in a synagogue or, or a school. If you don't feel safe, well, we'll deal with the Second Amendment, although I do believe that the vulgar or organized militias are definitely things that both we need as cantons which would be also the, I don't know, county police. We have to do the Constitution somehow, but also the, the tribal police that become like, you know, it's also, it's also it, should be an, it should be its own force without the interference of the Regina-based racist organization known as the RCMP, the force. The Dominion must fall. The force? How many divisions do they have? Not for now, if you think they're under your control, America. Yeah, they probably are, but not for, not perhaps for the reasons you think. We're, we Canadians are a lot cleverer in some ways. That's what you get for being a mouse living next door to an elephant who rolls over in his sleep. So anyways, I'm off for being an American state. I have more. i got to go. Have a nice day.